Hi, today I thought I'd show you the first step in hand pollination. And so what I do is I first take my organza bags, I get those on Amazon, I get the big ones, nine by 12 inch are my favorite. And then I cover a bud that's maybe this size to begin with. And then once it's um, gotten mature and popped its center, I have actually two blooms in one bag because they both fit. Um, you can see here that I've got stigma here and anthers. Those are the two parts that you need in order to produce seed in a dahlia. So once I see this and I can see pollen sort of falling off here onto the petals, I know I've got some pollen here. I remove all these petals. I just, I just let them pull them off. They pull off pretty easily. You might want to hold tight to, to uh, this part so um, you don't break the head off because you break the head off then you've got a problem. But I, I start by doing that. I sort of clean it up here, get rid of all these little pieces here like that. And once it's cleaned up like that, I have my envelope here with a thumb hold so that the wind doesn't take it. And I kind of tip the, the flower head here with the pollen here towards my envelope and then I gently stroke with the paintbrush. And what that does is it stimulates the anthers to push a little more pollen, and also it's pushing pollen into the envelope here. You can see it there. And then the next thing I do is I give it a knock, and then a lot more pollen falls off. You can see all that pollen in the envelope falling into there. So I'm gonna knock it a few more times, and then I'm gonna stroke it another time, I'm stroking kind of mimics the bees walking all over it and uh, a lot of times flowers will push, the anthers will push out more pollen when they know a bee's around. So I'm kind of pretending to be a bee here and then I'm going to knock it again and you can see I'm getting more and more pollen every time I do that. So I'm going to do that as well on this other bloom that was in the same organza bag. I, I put two in because it's a big bag. So again I'm going to remove the petals like this all the way. If the petals are really hard to remove, I wouldn't take them off, but these are coming off pretty easily. And again, I like to hold on to the bracts here just in case I break the head off when I am pulling them. Um, but they're coming off pretty easily, not super easily. This, this bloom is not as mature as the bloom that I did here, where you can see all, all the stigmas and all the anthers are, are open there. On this one, this one just has um, I don't see any stigma available. So the stigmas are the ones that look like Y's here with the big open Y here. And the anthers are the ones right here that are the pollen producers. So this one has just pollen and no anthers. So again, I'm gonna tip- No stigmas. No, oh, no stigma, sorry. Um, so, so here we go. There's a little stigma just starting to open right there, but I'm just gonna brush, brush the pollen off of these anthers. I'm brushing it and it's falling into the, and then again, I'm gonna hold it and knock it. And again, I'm getting more pollen from both of these. These are both the same variety. So I know these are both um, producing the exact same pollen. Um, sometimes a petal falls in and I just fish that out. So once I've done that, I immediately cover up my blooms because if the bees are around and they land on there, then you're gonna be spreading pollen onto there that you don't want. So that's the first part. Hi, I thought I'd show you the second part of hand pollination. So the first part it was we collected pollen from um, another flower, one that we want to cross with this one. And so um, you can see here the pollen's in the bottom and I'm going to pick it up with my paintbrush like that and you can see all the pollen on the tip of the paintbrush. Next I'm going to open my bag up, make sure there aren't too many bees around. Um, pollination takes about two hours once you've pollinated um, the pollen goes down these pollination tubes and goes to where the seed is. So what I'm trying to do is place the pollen on the inside of the of these stigma right in here. They look like little Y's and I'm just dabbing the pollen, grabbing some from here and dabbing it between the Y's on the top part of the Y. And I'm going to go all the way around and hope that this is going to work for pollination.
Where are the petals from this flower? Oh, the petals from this flower were remo removed, and the reason I remove them is um, they are very wet, and it's best to keep all this area as dry as you can. Pollen, if it gets wet, becomes um, not viable, and so um, I want to try to keep everything as dry as possible. And once the stigma are this open and I'm able to apply pollen to it, it's, it's time for it to close up and think about um, making the seed. So you can see I'm losing some of my pollen down here. Um, you can kind of pick it up with the paintbrush if you want and put it on the inside of the stigma. So this is a fun one to see. This is a giant dahlia, so the stigma are really large and it makes it easy to pollinate. That's it for today.